Hi, my name is Simon and I will be presenting VFX, a technique for automatic alloy model repair. Given a problem for which we want to construct a program, a usual approach is to write the program, evaluate it against an expected solution, specific scenarios for example, and modify the program whenever it's found not to meet the expectations. One way to reduce the issues that arise during implementation is with formal specifications. Specifically, those related to the problem domain and programs design. These specifications are much more abstract but nevertheless not trivial to write, and errors can still be made. In the same manner we have an expected solution with which to contrast our program, we can have formal properties that our specification is meant to satisfy. A similar cycle of validation and fixing then occurs. Although this removes future issues we will have in our program, leaving the more technical ones to deal with. Let us focus in the spec and properties part. The specification will involve specifying the problem domain and the solutions related operations, while the properties will involve things that must happen and things that must not happen. Considering linked lists with a repo K empty acyclic and contains operations, the first three will take a list and return true or false with respect to if the list is valid, empty or acyclic, respectively. Contains will take a list, a value and return true if the list has an element with that value. Some expected properties will be Expecting that there should exist lists which are both non-empty and acyclic. If none exist, then we should either fix our domain restrictions and our buggy operations like empty and acyclic. All empty lists should be acyclic. If an empty list which is not acyclic can be obtained, then we should fix operations empty and not acyclic. And for every valid list, those that satisfies the repo gay, if the operation contains return true for a particular value, then the list must not be empty. If one list and value exist such that it violates this property, we might need to fix repo gay empty and not contains. In this paper we will focus on Alloy, a declarative language based on first-order relational logic which uses bounded verification via subsolving. We will refer to the domain and operation specifications part as the model, and the property stating what must and must not happen as the oracle. The development cycle for an Alloy model will follow the same cycle we saw before validating a model against some expected properties and using a SAT solver to check if some property is violated, which is highlighted by some feedback like no instances being obtained or a counterexample, in which case we will modify or repair the model and keep going until all properties hold. Our goal in this paper is to automate this cycle. Our technique will start with a model and an oracle with at least one failing property. After localizing the potential buggy expressions, we can now see our model as a set of expressions to repair. Let's keep our example of list and assume we have one expression marked for acyclic, two in contains and one for empty. Using mutation operators, we will then generate mutants for each expression, starting with acyclic and continuing with the rest. Each candidate will result in two kinds of descendants those for which the same expression will be mutated again, and those for which the next, the next expression will be mutated. All previous expressions will remain fixed. Our search can then be modeled as a tree, starting with the original model, which we will traverse in a breadth first search manner. A repair candidate can now be seen as a path in this tree. Consider now a repair candidate that has two fixed mutations one in acyclic and one in contains first expression. And also that this candidate does not satisfy the oracle. We should now continue the search by looking all possible mutants for the next two expressions. One way to avoid some candidates will be taking the expressions yet to be mutated, second expression of contains and the one in empty, and ask if there is some expression for each one of those that could be used to satisfy all properties. If this can be done, the exploration will continue. If not, then the fixed part of the candidate can never lead to a repair. This will require high order quantification, which Alloy does not directly support. So we will instead ask if there is some possible value to be used, instead of the expressions to mutate, to satisfy previously failing properties on specific scenarios. 
This will reduce the useful properties to those that can generate the counterexample when violated, but allow us to make this check automatically. In a bit more of detail, we can see our current repair candidate as the following, with some mutated expressions that may use the related predicates arguments, an expression yet to be mutated that may also use predicates arguments. What it can do is change those yet to be mutated expressions with particular relations that involve the same arguments and ask if previously violated properties on specific scenarios cannot be satisfied by giving values to, the, to those relations. Continuing with our current candidate, let us assume there is a property which only involves the acyclic predicate. If this property is violated, we are sure that, given we will not make any more mutations to the acyclic expression, there is no way any candidate generated from the current one can ever lead to a repair. To summarize our technique, we mentioned that expressions to be mutated are defined or marked once at the start of the repair process. We rely on external fault localization tools for this, particularly we use FLAG, a new technique for fault localization in other models based on differences between assertions, counterexamples, and satisfying instances. Ours is a mutation-based repair technique with a parameterized set of operators that can be changed without much difficulty. We use a bounded exhaustive approach for searching a repair. This assures us that if a repair exists on a given bounded space, we will find it. But the search space increases exponentially with respect to mark expressions and mutation operators used. A breadth first search approach to visit the candidate space results in always producing, when found, the closest repairs with respect to syntax changes. Finally, our pruning technique is sound. Any pruned candidate will never lead to a repair, but not all prunable candidates will be pruned. At the time we propose our technique, the state-of-the-art and seminal work with respect to automatic alloy model repair was a repair, a technique that uses test as oracle, spectrum-based for localization, and a combination of mutation operators and expression synthesis. We compare the technique against air repair using both air repairs on benchmark and alloy for fun benchmark. On air repairs benchmark, air repair fixes 26 out of 38 models, with 10 of them being overfitting, evidencing that the test suite used as an acceptance criteria is too weak, requiring additional tests, while BFX repairs 24. On alloy for fun benchmark, air repair fixes around 80% of models with 71 being overfitting, again showing the need for more tests to be added, while BFX repairs 47%. In both cases, it's important to remark that even when considering all air repairs fixes, both techniques are complementary. Some models can be repaired by both techniques, but some are only repaired by the only one. This has to do with some basic differences between both techniques. Air repair is not exhaustive and will rerun for localization on each iteration. BFX is exhaustive but relies only on mutations, while also relying on full localization only once at the start of the process. With respect to overfitting, BFX can, can use both property-based and scenario-based oracles, but will benefit from property-based oracles being stronger than test. Air repair, on the other hand, can only use tests and requires manually crafted tests to avoid these purest repairs. When manual tests are used along automatically generated ones, it can correctly fix 26 models of the air repairs benchmark. If anyone wants to use BFX, we have a replication package available, as well as the tools repository. The full localization technique will also be presented in this edition of ICSI and we also have a replication package available. Thank you for your time. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this program repair session. Uh, we are, I am Sierra Vegas and I will be your session chair today. Um, we are going to start with the first paper. Simon Gutierrez is today with us and he is going to answer any questions that you may have about this um, great work that he and his co-authors have done. Um, for the moment, we don't have questions yet, but uh, remember that we have almost 10 minutes for questions, so your questions will be very welcome. 
Um, so in the meanwhile, while we receive any any questions, I think I am going to ask you something, okay? Um, it is a curiosity. It, in fact, it is something that I did not understand very well from your presentation, okay? So in one of your slides, you show a comparison with uh, between your approach and a repair, okay? And the one with the with the bubbles. I don't know if you remember that one where you compare the the performance of the, of your approach versus a repair. Yes. So in the case of a repair, you have two bubbles. One of them uh, mentions correct, and the other one repair. But I I didn't quite get very well what what is the difference between these two. Okay. The the repair one is all the models that a repair could repair or, or the air repair process return a, a repair model, mm -hmm. uh, while the correct uh, bubble um, refers to the ones that are actually repaired, those that are not overfitted. Okay, and in the case of your approach, so there's only one bubble. So is it because in your case it doesn't it doesn't make a difference between? Okay. In, in our case, we use uh, property-based oracles, mm -hmm. while while well, every pairs uses um, test or scenario-based uh, properties that that uh, that generates some overfitting uh, we use two benchmark uh, alloy for fun and mm -hmm. uh, every pairs benchmark alloy for funds benchmark contains solutions of student solutions for several problems given by teachers and the teachers then compare it compare those ones to uh, reference specification so we use the reference specifications to, to uh, as Oracle, but for air repair, they need test. So we use automatic test generation for that one. So we didn't have any overfitting while there, but they, they do have some overfitting because the test versus property based. Mm -hmm. And for air repair, their benchmark only have specification and test. And after we removed the test, there were no clear difference between the core spec and the properties. Mm -hmm. So we use the we use the original or the repair version of the reference specification as Oracle. So again we have no overfitting, but they do have overfitting because of the test. Okay. That's why the difference that was the difference of the bubbles, and that's why mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have any overfitting with physics. Okay, so thank you very much for your clarification. So we still have six minutes left, but it seems that there are no questions. So no questions have arrived yet. So I think that at this point, maybe we can finish with the Q&A. Um, so if there's anyone who is interested in having a conversation with Simon, you can join later when, when this uh, Q&A slot finishes. You can join the, the discussion room and maybe continue um, talking with him. He will be available for any questions that you may have. Okay? So thank you very much, Simon, for, for, your, for being here and for answering my questions. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, sorry. Okay, um, in a, in a, are, are you can you listen to me in in an abstract way a specification 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 repair is uh, uh, follow the 
modify and, and verify loop. But there are some main difference between specification between specification re sorry can you hear me because I have someone who says they can't um, so you have some some main difference so you have <laughs> you have some main difference like uh, um, sorry, uh, specifications are not exe executables. Uh, on specification repair, you have um, you have property-based oracles instead of scenario-based oracles or, or tests. Uh, our technique is bounded exhaustive, while program repair is or program repair techniques in general are not. Uh, bundled exhaustive. This is mainly because difference of the size. Specifications, uh, the, the, the specifications are more are very uh, smaller than programs. And um, you have writing format specification for programs is a very difficult task. So having a technique that relies on format specification for program repair is difficult. Uh, you have uh, program repositories, code repositories uh, are not very, not, are not in general uh, available for spe format specifications, so you can't use technique like mining. Um, you have some techniques for program repair use take advantage of traceability and redundancy in code, uh, which in general does not apply to formal, to specification repair. A similar approach to repair. Yes, I think that we can use uh, VFX for, for the in alloy. Yes, I think that Yes, I think that we may be able to adapt VFX to repair the alloy specification. One, one way to do that would, would be to translate the alloy specification to alloy specification and then repair that. That, that may be uh, the, the most simple way to, to repair the alloy specification. No, we we try using a, a, um, no. Our technique is. Hi.